Well, hello there. Welcome to another interview on the Paranormal Highway. Today, we're interviewing Bree on past lives. You know, past lives, what... I'm so curious about the story because what is exactly is a past life? What, are, what exactly were we talking about? One day, one time, real quick, people, I had a medium who uh, did a backstage with me and told me that I had eight past lives. Eight of them. And I'm like, really? Wow. What's, what are the eight? What are the past lives? You know, what are the people that are the eight? You know, how do they come to you? Is it, is it, you know, how would I know if I'm having a past life? How do I know? You know, is it your dreams? Do I have visions? It's such an interesting thing. And with this interview, I'm hoping to get out of it is, is answers for my own, you know? How can I recognize the eight past lives I was told that I have? What are they? Is there a way to have a link into that world? Or am I living with my thoughts of the eight past lives? I don't know. I don't, I can't tell you for sure. I'm going to get these exact kind of answers from Bree, but you never know. Maybe I will. Now, if this is your first time here, on this channel. I want to know why this is your first time here. If you are, you know, you should ask yourself, why haven't you subscribed before? But that's another story. What we do is I let Brie come up. She's going to tell her story. We're not going to interrupt her at all. She's going to tell her story. And then once her story is done, um, I'm going to ask a couple questions. My co-host today, Anthony, is going to ask her a couple questions. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on what I feel that I learned from this interview. So get yourself some coffee, popcorn, soda, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Kick back, sit back. And let's hear this story. Hey guys. So today I am going to be retelling a very uh, emotional story uh for me and that would be uh, when i had my past life as a witch confirmed and i had it confirmed uh, in minneapolis probably about seven eight years ago uh through a tarot reading and so um i guess a little bit of the backstory would be i've always been um drawn to past lives um when uh i believe unsolved mysteries had um some past life uh, stories and i would always watch that with my mom and i would always be drawn to those stories and um so about eight years ago was kind of the uh, awakening of my uh spiritual path and um they say that you never become a witch it's just when you realize that you have been. And so um, uh, digging deeper into spiritual stuff, I um, definitely poked around in the past life area. And then uh, looking at, you know, some of the signs or symptoms of past life things um, kind of like ringed true to me. And so I had an urge, an overwhelming urge to uh, find out about my past lives. Uh, and then I did, I found a guided past life meditation on YouTube. And I went ahead and I did that. Um, I remember yep, it was in, back in Minneapolis. I was in my uh, craft room, sunroom. And then I had uh, YouTube the uh, past life guided meditation plane. And then it kind of like walked you through uh, three different, uh, three different doors, or I saw three different uh, past lives. And so what I mean by what I saw was that um, I could see it in my mind's eye, like a memory. And, uh, Sometimes when you have fears and phobias in this life, it can be um, because of past life trauma. 
And so um, the first, uh, I guess, uh, lifetime I saw was, uh, it was in an airplane. And it was uh, military, uh, maybe around World War II. Um, but I remember I was in, uh, you know, I was in the plane and I saw pictures uh, by the, the dashboard. And to me, it's kind of like all those different um, images of, uh, or movies of uh, war battle how people you know would put their loved ones back home by the controls uh so that was definitely the first the first one i could recall and it resonated with me because i don't really like the military um for you know uh, obvious reasons if i passed away and height i hate height i absolutely hate height so uh, that definitely correlates to my fear of heights and if I had passed away, um, you know, doing that. Um, and then there was a, uh, so I, I remembered a couple uh, different uh, life cycles. And so it was probably like a month after that. So I, I, I did my own research and I've never had a tarot reading before until uh, when I went to do the past life uh, tarot reading. And like, I just, I had an urge. Like I just, I had an urge to go, um, you know, have, have the past life reading. And it was like something in me that it's like, I know I needed to do it. And uh, my partner and I, we went to have each of us have a, a tarot reading for past life. And when we parked um, to go into the, the appointment, I thought, you know, when I was getting out of the car, I thought, what if, what if, you know, they tell me I was a witch in a past life? And um, I, at that point, you know, I'd always been drawn to witchy stuff and um, with the things you like, you know, you, you are also drawn to things in your past life. So we go in for the tarot reading and I get mine done. And uh, the tarot reader said that for a past life, I was a witch and that it was during the 15th, 16th century in England. And if we know history, we know that that is not the best, um, best time uh, for witches. And so I automatically, when he told me that my body, uh, like my hands, I just started shaking and I started to cry. And the tarot reader, you know, wanted to make sure that I was okay, and I was okay, and I couldn't, um, I couldn't explain why I would have such a, an emotional reaction like that. Uh, but now I know that is confirmation. Uh, when I do tarot reading, uh, tarot readings myself, and when anybody has any. Uh, you know, chills or anything like that's confirmation. Like if they uh, break out, you know, and like by uh, crying, like that is a sign of it, your past life being recognized. So it's like, it's the release of emotions. And so uh, the tarot reader also said that uh, my partner and I had a past life together. And that is something that we automatically felt like it was something like we have had a past life together. And um, so on our way um, back to the duplex in Minneapolis, we took a different way. And I am a skeptic with an open mind, I say. And so I was totally blown away from that tarot reading. And I was telling him, I'm like, you know, like, what do you think? Like, 
you know, being skeptical. And so the car in front of us had a custom license plate and it said soulmate. And if you know anything about, uh, you know, custom plates, there's only one in that state. So the fact that I'm talking skeptical in that moment and we're taking a different way that uh, different than normal way home. And then we see that license plate. That is another sign of confirmation. Um, so that was a very, very uh, intense uh, tarot reading, I would say. Um, but it uh, was very, it was very much needed. And so that was, it makes sense of why I, like, it was so important for me to have the past life uh, reading. And so when that was, con you know, confirmed, I've just dug deeper into uh, past lives. I do past life terror reading, or excuse me, past life oracle reading now. And uh, it's, it's oftentimes that uh, people have said that it's shocking and that it's like, wow, oh my God. And then they, they cry themselves themselves. So I've had a couple people that have had my same reaction. Um, and I know I was meant to have that reading um, to allow me to be where I'm at today so I can help other people with their past life um, issues or traumas. Um, and so, yeah, that was a very, very interesting experience. Um, it was a very wonderful reading for my first time, uh, to say the least. And that is my story. This is not really the first question I'm going to ask you, because this is something I, I, I do ask and I, I hate asking, but but I think it's important because a lot of people will think this in the back, back of their heads, that during all yeah, this experience, yeah. were there ever any drugs or alcohol involved in all, any of these experiences by any chance? Uh, no. I, I do okay. use cannabis for chronic pain, but okay. it wasn't during um, it wasn't during any of the things or before. It's, it's not a popular question, but back in people's minds, you know, people think, oh, that's right. probably an alcoholic and all this. They're having <laughs> these big visions. And I wanted to get that part cleared out of the way. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you said that I, you know, for my questions, I sometimes I don't even know where where I want to start. But one of the most important things I, I've heard you say in one of my questions is you talk about fears and phobia. Mm -hmm. That a lot of people have fears and phobia, and they're different for different people, different yeah. fears and stuff. That your fears and phobia, you kind of learn that this fears and phobia that you have, you didn't really know you had, probably was because of some things in the past lives. Yeah, I can look back and say, like, the fear of height. would If I've had a past life as military flying, that makes sense. Um, and also, if I've had a past life of being a witch, um, I don't necessarily... I'm not a fan of water. Like I can swim, but I've had some experiences where I've had to save someone in the water. So I don't, I'm not a fan of water or fire. And so if I was a witch in the 15th, 16th century, then what was their means of, of well, you know, you know, torturing? You, so that you, aligns. Yeah, they burned at the stake. Well, you, you yeah. hear people all the time say around right i don't know why i'm afraid of the dark or i don't know why i'm afraid of the water and now that what you just said kind of made me think maybe in the past life there's a reason kind of 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 why now another uh one i want to ask you is is the witch part yeah because because now like i said i've been told i have eight past lives but i i want to i want to remember those so much because it's so interesting to me but but because that you were you had a witch sign in the past life, and usually mm -hmm. a witch is a good. You know, a lot of people think they hear witch, they think bad, but no, witch is just a religion of, of environment. You know, trees, the living in trees. It, it, it's mm -hmm. a witch is is really a beautiful thing, but of course we got the people think witch 
devil, which it has nothing to do. Oh, with that's it. what Hollywood does to it. Yeah, I really, I really, it. I really appreciate but, that. But because of the witch part, and I always look at a witch as being more open-minded to the environment, more open-minded to the world. Absolutely. You think maybe that's the connection why you can remember more of your past lives, and maybe I can't. Maybe I've, I don't have a warlock in my past life. I, I don't know. I don't have the answer. But do you feel the witch part is what's making you more open-minded to this kind of stuff? Um, I believe that could play um, in uh, the open-mindedness, or I believe it is uh, you. You don't remember until when it's time if that makes sense so like say with like et abductions or any other you know say past life memories um you know say if you can't remember you might not be in the right place to remember and so when the time is right that is when you are allowed to remember things so i think it could be a combination of i've been ready you know, to have that confirmed. Um, I am also, I do have gifts. So like, um, I have definitely the, um, you know, thinking of things and then it happens. So I do have those gifts. And so maybe because I, my gifts might be stronger than, you know, say yours, yours, Eric, um, I might be able to recall those things easier. I'm Two gonna, things uh, I want to touch on that you were just talking about. One, yeah. you just brought up gifts. Yes. You know, I find that I'm able to do that. I can literally say I need to come into money. I need money bad or something like that. And, and within a week of me thinking about money, mm -hmm. I get a check in the mail. Or I'll I'll hit the number on the lotto, you know, yeah. and I'll win 600. Or I'll buy mm -hmm. a scratch off randomly and win 200. I find that happens to me a lot when I think about things like that. I wish I had that. Second, I've been posting my scratch offs all week on Facebook. I've been I like saw. crazy. And, and I've been thinking about money. It's like I've been willing it to happen is almost yeah. what I feel like. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to have Anthony uh, ask you some questions if because I got two more. But but I think Anthony... Go ahead, jump in. Gonna, uh, no, uh, want me to ask? Now, okay. Okay, here's the question. Now, you said you went to a tarot reading that, that opened you up and you have feelings. Yeah. How do you know? Uh, we, okay, if I pick a, a reader, how do you know that that reader or that tarot person that you're going to, I hate to say the word, is the real deal? That he's even going to, her or he, is even going to tell you the truth or, or that person is going to just tell you what you want to hear? How do you know that person is the person that you know you can trust? Um, I guess for me because it was the first time i've ever um had a reading i went to a professional reader in minneapolis and so um just because someone reads professionally at like say a metaphysical store doesn't mean they're 100 percent the real deal because we know bobby you know she has her gifts are so incredibly on point um but it was kind of like it was a ran you know and it was random to who you would um, be assigned to. Um, but it was, I guess, the way of mm, that I knew and anyone else could know is that if it resonates with you. So um, to me, I felt like he was had very good skills because it resonated. And that was his second time doing a past life reading. That wasn't his specialty or anything. Well, um, is it possible, too, that he's opening up a topic that you really want to get out and it kind of just opened you up, even though he could be real or not, but he is on that subject and it just allows you to like, just come out with your stuff. He could also sense it in me too, where it's like, I, you know, who knows exactly what his skill sets are, but um, some people are able to um, kind of like, Oh, I can tell you, you've had X amount of past life. Like you said. Um, and so, I guess it's just trusting, trusting, uh, trusting, trust in the process that the universe wants you to go through, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And, and if and it promise. resonates with you. And I promise this is my last question. I'll have Anthony take over a question. You mentioned the word partners. Yeah. That you you and your, you had 
a past life memory of you and your partner that you're with today in the past <laughs> life. It made me re remember the movie Robin Williams and what dreams may come where mm -hmm. at the end of a movie where, you know, they died, but they're reincarnated to a separate world, but they're going to find each other again. Mm -hmm. You know, is, is that what it was? Is it that you feel that you and your past, your partner in the past, both passed away and you found each other again. And, and I'm wondering, do you feel that's going to continue? I don't want you to pass away anytime soon. Okay? No, but in the future life cycles. cycles. But will you, yes, in the recycle, do you feel you're always going to be partnered for the rest of the Who, who knows? Um, that's the thing where, uh, for me, I have a lot of chronic pain and, uh, what they say about, cause I've done a lot, I've done a lot of research into past lives and about like aches and pains. Um, cause I have a lot of them. And one thing I did read was that if someone, uh, comes back and like, if they don't, if they don't regenerate, if they regenerate, come back too fast, they can have chronic pains and aches and stuff wrong with them because they didn't have enough time to heal in that past life cycle. Uh -huh. So I believe, uh, well, my partner is nine years older than me and I met him back in Minnesota and we were always around each other, like a perimeter, but ne you know, we were always seeming to be around each other at similar times. So it's like we moved, you know, around, he was, you know, in the city. We were aligned with so, each other. Yeah, yes, exactly. Um, so who knows for future life cycles? Uh, you know, that's the thing about anything is possible. Could be uh, a soulmate, Bray. Yeah, and that's that's <laughs> where it's like I knew the I knew it was different because um, I was his first match on Tinder. Wow. And the, like that was the first time. Like he was married, um, you know, for. 13 years you know he has two kids from his prior marriage so he was you know um it was his you know time that he was looking for someone and it aligned and so that's where it's like i had to come into this world when i did so that way i would meet him when you know when we did and so that's where it's like i think part of my chronic pain can have to do with maybe I, I had to come, you know, I didn't get enough time to regenerate my body, you know, from last time life cycles. Well, Anthony, do you, you know, I find myself, I've been having dreams for some time now where I, I'm dreaming that I have a whole nother family, wife, <laughs> kids, two daughters, a, a different wife, different job. Um, I even look different a little bit in my dream really and uh a couple of times i woke up very emotional because i had woke up and they were gone and i felt like i should be with them i i feel like after having this dream with this whole other family a couple of times i feel like i'm in the wrong life i feel like i was supposed to be there it's crazy i know it sounds crazy but do you ever have dreams of you know like a whole nother family kids anything like that from a past life um, I guess not dreams of the family members. Uh, I guess the only thing similar would be, I guess, like the flight, um, past life remember, you know, uh, memory, I guess, because I saw like a lady with like a, a beehive, like a bouffant, mm -hmm. you know? So I would say that that would be his wife or there, you know, um, but I haven't remembered family, family members per se, but I do feel that I've come across people in this lifetime that I feel like, um, we have had past lives together as family. So. Wow. That's pretty <laughs> wild. And aside from being a, a witch in a past <laughs> life, did you have any other, uh, memories of, of being someone else, a queen, a king, uh, um, like that? Not, not any other aside from being a witch, because you've had a few, right? Yeah, a few. So I definitely, um, I, I definitely, yeah, I remember a few, um, 
let's see. What was, I'm sorry, I kind of was trying to remember, and then... Uh, other past, you know, like, other past lives um, other held, you, like, which ones do you remember? I guess, remember um, I guess, really, the on, the one that stands out the most is the, um, the, the, uh, you know, person in the military. Um, I, I guess those are really the, the, the witch, and that the other one are like the most that I can actually like pinpoint, I guess, because uh, like, say I might be attracted to certain things and um, I might not have, might not realize that that's because of a certain, that I've done something in a certain life. Do you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I got it. Um, So I guess the other lives I guess I don't really remember as much. Um, so I can't necessarily say, oh, I've done, you know, I was in Egypt, uh, you know, at X amount of time. I have always had a fascination with Egypt. Um, now, I don't know if it's a past life or if it's because of the movie The Mummy, you know, uh, yeah. when, and when it came out. But I definitely had um, just a fascination with Egypt. And I was learning how to speak Arabic, like in sixth wow. grade. Wow. Like, and that's where that could, I could have had a past life as, you know, uh, an Egyptian, but I can't tell you what I did per se. So. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Now, I find the whole past life thing fascinating. I really yeah. do. You know, it's amazing that uh, you can be, because like we were talking the other day, like your, your, your soul will never die. Energy doesn't die. The, the vessel that we're in, expires but the energy never does so it just transfers yeah it just transfers so reincarnation's a very real thing from going from one life to another uh as far as us having that choice i i strongly believe we have that choice whether we want to come back or not because i had that a motorcycle accident i crossed over and i was asked if i want to come back mm-hmm. so, and i remember that clear as day so I, I think you, we, we're given that opportunity when in death you want to come back and relive a different life or, you know, try it again or whatever. Uh, and I think that's fascinating that you can remember those things. That's so cool. Yeah. And that's the thing where, um, you know, people can be uh, have like a past life regressions, like with a, you know, certified uh, counselor or mm-hmm. therapist. And sometimes... Uh, you know, if you dig around with things and you're not ready to, you might not have a good experience. Same thing right. with like ET abductions, where you know, don't I just you know, it's like don't poke around in there if you're not ready to, because right. you could, you know, start memories that you're emotionally not strong enough to um, that's deal very with. True. That. And very so true. that's that's where you know there are things that people can do to help them kind of remember their past lives but like i said earlier it's it has to be the right time right before we go you you consider yourself uh you do consider yourself being in the witch religion correct yeah i am pagan and so uh i really appreciate you saying um what you did earlier because just uh the other day i was subscribed to someone and I didn't recognize their name, but they were live and I peeked in and something about dog man. And they said, we're uh, kind of bashing witches, how it's like we sack the witches sacrifice animals and this, and we're evil and everything. And it was like going on a soapbox. It was just, you know, I just, it made me sad and I just left. Uh, because it's just, it's just like what Anthony said, Hollywood and all that made it like it's an evil word. There's a movie well, called and- witch. And, and, that, and, and which was, which mm-hmm. was was really basically, religious people of all people want to say that person's the devil, that woman's this. Let's burn it to the to the to the wall. She's a witch, and they burn used it, it in a bad term. When it, it's a beautiful religion, yeah, and um, well, and religion too. Uh, I grew up Jehovah's Witness, so it was everything is bad. Um, you know, Harry Potter was bad. Oh my goodness. Um, so poke, you know, everything was bad. So I'm definitely um, the opposite of what oh. I grew up in because it didn't res- that religion didn't resonate with me. Even as a little kid, it didn't resonate with me. But um, you know, I'm I'm pagan. I don't um, you know I don't well 
do any, you know, any, any, because I believe that stuff will come back to you. I do want to say, I want to thank you for coming on here, telling you the story. I think it's a lot of learning experience for a lot of people and all that. I think a lot of people are going to gain a lot of stuff from this and people are watching this. I'm going to uh, give you my last thoughts. And I want to thank Bree and Anthony for being here today. They're, they're awesome. Uh, Bree has a YouTube channel. I'll make sure that her link is in the uh, description so you guys can check her out, ask her questions. And guys, whoever's watching this, ask her questions in the comments. I'll let her know that mm-hmm. there's four or five questions and I, I'm sure that she'll come back the next day and, you know, reply to your questions. Yeah. So beyond that, I'll give my last thoughts. You know, what I've learned from this interview is that a lot of us do, do have certain kind of phobias, and now it's making me think: Does the phobia that I have was due to a past life? Why do I feel a certain way? Why do I think a certain way? How many times throughout the day, every day, not every day, but some days of the week that you felt a certain way, then all of a sudden your feelings change. You, you went from being happy to I don't know, being sad or or being grumpy out of nowhere. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you're probably the coffee or this, you're high, you're on the low. But what if it's the the part of the past life that you're feeling that just changed, just changed on you? Was that part of a past life? That's interesting. And past life, I want the past life for myself. To be 100% true because it tells you that your energy goes somewhere. That your energy just doesn't die. It just doesn't go to the blackness. Where like a computer breaks, power goes out, it's done. A past life tells you that your energy goes somewhere. And knowing that the possibility of being reincarnated, reincarnation into a whole new life. And knowing the fact that person you're in in love with, your soulmate, you might see that person again. We might look different in the new life that we go into, but it makes, it puts a smile on my face to know that our energy can go somewhere. It's, It's just such a beautiful thing. And one last thing I wanted to tell everybody that when you hear the word witch, you first go into evil, the devil. It's not. It is not. I used to have a person come on my show. She calls herself the witch goddess. And she used to tell us the beautiful thing that they they, they, they dance around a tree because they love the environment. They love the surroundings so much. They believe that earth itself is the power through the winds, through the cloud. It is really such a beautiful religion. And I hope that people will wake up to the fact that it's not evil. It's a beautiful thing. And I want people to start doing more research on it. And I know it's something you can't go to a minister part because, you know, I'm not trying to bash any type of religion, but they look at it differently. They're not looking at it, that a fact that, that a witch is a beautiful religion. And when somebody tells me they're a witch, I think of the environment. I think of the clouds, the winds, the sounds, the animals of the, of the planet. And I hope all of you have learned something with this interview today. And I truly hope you guys will continue to go down this journey with myself, with Anthony, with Bree on the future. Because I think the future is bright of the knowledge that we are learning. And I hope to see you guys all next time on Paranormal Highway.